Hi, everybody. Welcome to Yoga Sculpt. Let's jump right in. Weight can go at the top of your space. Get it started in a comfortable seat. Maybe close the eyes. Take a few full deep breaths here. And a little separation between your lips. Let your jaw relax. The tongue settle away from the roof of your mouth. And following your breath, as you inhale, slowly bring your shoulders towards your ears. As you exhale, circle and roll them down. Take a few more, nice and slow with your breath. Inhales, rolling shoulders up. You exhale, roll them down and back. Then go ahead and reverse it. Shoulders up, forward, slow with your breath still. And the shoulders just rest back down, sending the left arm to the ceiling, up and over, easy side bend. Come back up and switch, reaching the right arm high, coming up and over. Gently coming back up this time, we'll twist over the right shoulder. Unwind, twist to the left. Gently unwind, coming to tabletop, moving through the spine a few rounds, cat and cow. Then use your shoulders, stay over the wrist. Using your inhales and exhale. Go ahead, take a few more, maybe even add in some circles with head and tail. Go one way a few times. And reverse. We'll come back, finding our tabletop. From here, we're gonna just bend that left elbow into a goal pose. And then lifting our right leg out to the side. Now hold here and breathe. Continue to breathe. We're here for five, for four. We're gonna lengthen everything out in three, in two, and slowly reach the hand forward and toes behind. Take an inhale, and then exhale, bringing elbow and knee in. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, elbow knee. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow knee. Then inhale, reach. Bring just our hand down. Tuck the bottom toes. Take a three-leg down dog. So as you send the hip time, you can start to move out that right leg. Then you take some circles in the hip. If you roll the ankle, you can kind of bend and straighten the knee. And releasing that right foot, come back to tabletop. 
We're going to switch it out. So bending our right elbow, find that goal pose. Begin to lift that left leg out to the side. Finding your breath here, hold and breathe. Keep breathing and hold for five. We'll lengthen in four, three, two. Slowly send the hand forward, toes behind. As we exhale, elbow and knee draw in. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, elbow knee. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow knee. Inhale, reach, just our hand back down, tuck the bottom toes, press the hips up, take movement in that left leg, hip circle, rolling ankle, bend and straighten the knee. And releasing that left foot, finding your down dog, take a couple treads and heel presses. Continue to walk your feet all the way up towards our hands. Nice wide stance in the feet. Taking a rag doll. If you want to add a chest expansion, hands interlacing behind us. You like to switch up your grip. You check in, nod your head yes, or shake the head no. Then releasing hands back down, start to bring the feet closer together. We'll step our left foot behind, finding a low lunge. An open twist, setting the right arm high. If you want to roll the wrist, take a few big sweeping arm circles. And go the other way. And bring that hand down, bring that left knee down. Hands can stay or they can come up to that right knee. Just opening up the left hip, take a few breaths. And releasing, finding high plank. Holding here, we'll start to warm up the core, shifting forward and back. Take it slow. We're here for five, for four, down dog in three, in two, and one, sending hips high, down dog. Bringing our feet back up to our hands, forward fold. This time, stepping our right foot behind, low lunge, and open twist the left arm, and roll the wrist, and maybe layer in a few big arm circles. Go the other way. And releasing that left hand and our right knee. Hands can stay down or come up to that left leg. Go ahead, release. Again, finding our high plank. Start to rock forward and back. Breathing for five, for four, for three, four, for two, and one. Down dog, stretching back. You walk those feet up again, forward full. This time, take a little open twist, setting your right arm to the ceiling. Release and then open twist, send the left arm. Release, we're gonna take our weights coming up to chair, bend the knees, and just holding the weight, take a little pulse in the legs, weight to the heels, breathe and press for five, for four, for three, for two, and 
everyone. Release, then keep the weight in your right hand. Step back to your low lunge, left foot behind. Now open twist, send that right arm high. We're gonna bend that right elbow, tap that weight down. Reach back up, in and down. And up and down. Four, four, three, four, two. And one, bring our right weight down, bring our left knee down, hands can come up to the right knee. And release, finding our high plank, this time five push-ups, knees or toes, your exhale to lower, inhale up and lower, press it up, four, three, and up, and two, and one. Finding high plank, hold and breathe. Now take that right foot out and in left and right and left, alternating for eight, seven, six, five, down dog in four, three, two, one, high plank, press back, down dog. Bring those feet all the way up, taking our forward fold. Grab the weights, bend the knees, weight to the heels, come up and hold. Start to take that little pulse. Here we are for eight, seven, six, for five, for four, three, two, one. Bring the weights down, just your right weight. Step the right foot back, low lunge. Then sending that left arm, left weight up. Bend the elbow in, tap down, draw it in, and up. In, tap down, and up. Here for four, four, three, four, two. Take one more. Bring that left weight back down. Bring our right knee down. Find in your lunge. Release high plank. Five push-ups, knees or toes. Use your exhale, slowly lower. Inhale up. And four. Four, three. Four, two. And one. Finding high plank. Pressing back, find down dog right away. Now from here, send your right leg out and up. Bend your knee to nose. Reach that right leg high. Knee to nose, step, help it through low lunge. Grabbing both weights, taking our crescent lunge. Biceps, squeeze, and in, squeeze. For eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold the weights and leaning forward. Arms are reaching down. We're gonna squeeze the elbows up and down. Squeeze and down. Lift. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the weights down, just the arms come back up and open warrior two. Right knees and toes bend, maybe take a moment, check in with that right leg, right hip. From here, we're gonna inhale, stretch everything up. Warrior two, press and open that right knee. See if you can slow it down, stretch, press through your right heel and re-bend. Maybe even lift those front toes, press up. And back down, maybe warming up, feel that right hamstring, press into your heel. And down, now this time as we stretch the legs, lifting that right arm, reverse triangle. And standing tall, we'll turn both feet to that side, take a wide forward fold.
We'll turn back to the front. We're gonna find our high plank. Now you can either hold your high plank or tap down to your left knee. We're gonna lift our right leg and finding that right hamstring again. Squeeze and extend. Squeeze, extend. So knee on the floor or holding it in your plank. You choose eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We find our high plank together. Pressing back, find down dog. Now inhale, left toes out and up. Draw knee to nose. One more, reach it up. Knee to nose, step, help it through, low lunge. Take our weights, press and lunge. Just the bicep squeeze. And up. Keep going for six, five, four, three, two, one. Now chest is forward, arms reach down, elbows squeeze and lower. In and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Weights come down, just come back up. And then open warrior two. Let those left knees and toes open. Maybe take a couple, widen that stance. Check in with that left leg, left hip. And we'll reach those arms out. We're gonna inhale, stretch up. Warrior two, press down and open. Feel that left quad, pressing heel into the floor. And open again, maybe as you stretch, you lift those front toes, press near your heel. And lower, one more, press and squeeze up. And lower, now this time as we straighten the legs, lift that left side, reverse triangle. Standing tall, turn both feet to the side, wide forward fall. Moment to stretch out. We'll turn back to the front, high plank. Now again, you can be at a high plank or release your right shin to the ground. Lifting that left leg, squeeze your heel in and extend. Squeeze and extend. Knee on the floor or holding in your plank. You choose six for five, four, three, two, one. Finding our high plank, press right back down, down. From here, bring those feet all the way up and through. We're gonna take a seat. Feet hip width distance apart. Interlace the hands, press your palms away. Take an inhale. Exhale, just lower about halfway. Inhale up. Exhale low. And up. And lower. Think almost like a crunch, but starting from the top. And lowering down, and down, and lift, and down. Keep moving, keep breathing. Take five, four, three, two, one. Now sitting tall, then slowly roll all the way to our backs. Keep those feet hip width distance apart. Arms at our sides. We're gonna press the feet into the floor, press into the heels, lift up into branch. Holding right here. We're just gonna take a couple marches. Lift your right knee up and down. Switch left and down. Check in that hips. Stay strong. Lift and down. Right and left, your pace. Take two more, both legs. Once you finish out, keep those hips lifted. Take a little pulse in the hips, pulse and pulse. For 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Now keep your hips high. Let the knees open, squeeze towards each other and open and squeeze. Open and squeeze for six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees are back to parallel, hips are high, slowly roll down. At the bottom, knees can windshield wiper. Take a moment, rolling out that low back, maybe draw the knees to our chest. Go ahead, find the knees in close for a minute and then parallel shins to the floor and ceiling, reaching our arms up, palms face in. We're going to inhale. Now, as we exhale, take the opposite arm as leg, reach out long. Inhale, come back. Exhale, switch, opposite arm as leg. Inhale to center. Exhaling, extend and center and switch. Keep breathing. Check in with low back and extend and up. Moving through your pace, whatever side. Take two more both ways. Once you finish it, gently draw the knees back into our chest. From here, you can start to rock and roll length of your spine a couple times. Work your way all the way back to our tabletop. Once we find tabletop very similar to the way we began, we're going to bend our left arm goal post, lifting the right leg out to the side. Now hold here and then slowly bring everything back in and then open up. Bring it in. Keep everything floating off the floor. Right shin, left arm, out and in. Four, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to switch. So goal post the right arm, lifting that left leg out to the side. Now bringing them in. Open up. Bring them in and open. Again, think of floating shin and hand off the floor and in for six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring everything back in. Tuck the toes, stretching back, down, down. And send that right leg up. Bring knee to nose, reaching that leg come. Knee to nose, low lunge, take the weight, spining our crest to lunge, Ten biceps. We're gonna press up to the ceiling and down. Goal post and down, up. Here, four, six, five, four, three, two, one, now bring those arms down. This time, send the weights behind us. Hold here, tap that left foot in, step back, in and back for eight, seven, hold the weight, six, five, four, three, two, one. As that left foot steps back, bring the weights down, open up, warrior two. Reversing triangle, stretching high. Now taking our extend side angle, bend that right knee, reaching out and down. Come back up, reverse triangle. Stand tall, turn both feet to that side, come all the way down. Here, turning back to the front. We're gonna step back, finding our high plank. From here, you can either step in, finding a hovering tabletop, step back out, moving through that, or you can take a jump in, 
jump back, jump in, jump back. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Finding our high plank together, hold and breathe. Press back, down, down. Send the left leg high. Bring the knee to nose. One more like that, reach it up. Knee to nose, low lunge. Take the weights, coming up. Biceps wide, press to the ceiling and down. Goal pose, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Chest forward, arms reaching long behind us. Hold the weights and chest. Step in and back, in and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, right foot behind, weights down, come back up, open warrior two. Reverse that triangle, stretching left side high. Rebend our left knee, extend side angle, forward, out and down. Coming back up, turn both feet to the side, take your wide forward fold. Turning to the front, step back, high plank. This time, starting with your left foot, if you're taking the step in and back. Or take those jumps. You choose for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High plank, press back, down, down. Bring the feet all the way up to our hands. Take our forward fold. Knees bend, taking chair. Arms are gonna reach down. You can take a little pulse in the legs. Reach the arms out and bring it in. So pulse in between, take them out. Bring them in, take a pulse out and in. Pulse, or you can just hold the legs. Maybe adding a couple more extra in the arms if you're not taking that pulse. But wherever you are, keep breathing. You move through your version here for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, three, two, one, make sure those weights come back in, standing tall, holding our weights. From here, we're gonna take that left leg, tap that toe behind, knee down, bring it up. Tap it down and up, tap down and up. For six, four, five, four, three, two, one. Now standing tall switch, right foot behind, and up, down, and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, standing tall. Now taking that left arm, Find that goal post we did when we were on the ground and our right leg. So you can hold the right leg in. You're going to lift, bring it in, out, and in for eight, seven, six, five. We'll switch in four, three, two, one. Now take the right arm out, goal post. Left leg out, bringing it in. Eight, and out. Here we are for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As everything comes in, bring the weights down. Finding our way to high plank. From here, we're just gonna hold and breathe. 
coming into a side plank. So right hand down. You can keep the legs separated, open that left arm or stack your legs if you want a little more for that right core. Press up, release the hips and press. Keep your right arm strong, press. And making a crescent shape, eight, seven, six, five. We'll go the other way in, four, three, two, one, find your high plank first, shoulders over wrists, then switch. So left hand stays down, spin open, find your side plank. Again, you can hold here and breathe, or hips press up higher, releasing them. Press, keep that left arm strong, press. For seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, finding our way back to high plank, pressing back, find down dog and breathe. From here, walk the feet back up, taking our forward fold. You can even use your weights, use them as a little bit of an extra balance. Just gonna slide those left toes and heel behind us, taking a hamstring stretch. Couple easy breaths. It might even feel good to bend that back knee. Maybe even lift the front toes, depending on where we're at. Now from where we are, you can keep using those weights. We're just gonna rock forward enough. We're gonna bend your left knee, tuck those toes and that knee down behind us. We're gonna tap and sit all the way down. As we take a seat, you can either keep that right leg on top or if it feels better, you can cross that right ankle in front. Finding some opening in the hips. We'll start with the twist, gently rolling over that right shoulder. And then unwind and counter twist over the left shoulder. As we unwind back to the front, we can begin to fold over the legs. Whether we're crossing at knees or ankles, maybe take the hands a little bit wider than the shoulder. And if you need to increase that stretch, you can kind of shift towards one palm and then the other, a little rocking. Come back up, we're gonna take that right foot, tip it out in front and then reverse where we were so we can rock forward, use the weight, step that left foot behind, finding that hamstring stretch for a moment. And then we're gonna take this into a cross forward fold. So take that left leg, crossing behind our right. Maybe it's the ankles, maybe it's even a wider shape. Maybe tapping to the pinky edge of the left foot. And unwinding, we're gonna switch all that out. So sliding the right toe and heel straight behind us, taking that hamstring stretch here. Again, we can bend that back knee if that feels good. We can lift the front toes. And 
stay over a few more breaths. Again, as we shift back forward, we'll bend our right knee, tuck that left foot, shin and knee down. So we'll sit all the way on that right hip, left leg either on top. Or again, you can cross the ankles. Here, as we sit tall, gently twist over the left shoulder first. And unwind, counter over the right shoulder. And then releasing, we'll fold over the legs. And hands can be a little bit wider than the shoulders. If it feels good, we want to shift kind of side to side towards one palm and the other. Need to breathe here. And gently making our way back up, we'll step the left foot forward and unwind, sending that right leg behind us first, stretching out one last time. Then taking our cross forward fold, swing the right leg behind the left. And you can take it small at the ankle, maybe a little bit lighter, longer, pinky edge of the right foot. And unwind that right leg from our forward fold and bend the knees, taking a seat, feet about hip width distance apart. Feel free to keep the knees bent to help protect the low back, or you can send the legs just out long, nice and easy, similar to what we did before. So we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale, roll down maybe about halfway. This time as we sit tall, then you can reach either over straight legs or keep the knees a little bent. Again, sitting tall, slow that roll. Sitting tall, folding towards the leg. A few more, inhale, sit tall. Exhale to roll. Inhale, tall. And fold. Inhale, tall. Exhale, inhale tall, and fold two more, sitting tall, exhale, roll, sitting tall, and fold one more, sitting tall, and roll, sitting tall, and fold, now sitting tall, knees better straight, Continue to roll all the way slowly to our back. Once we come down, coming into a happy baby. So allow the knees to open out towards the shoulders. You can even grab on the insides, rock a little side to side. Bring the knees back in to our chest and take a moment, bring the arms out nice and wide. Almost imagine magnets underneath your shoulder blades and just floating legs, feet up towards the ceiling. Taking some pressure out, out of the legs, we roll the ankle, kind of shake out, shake the feet. 
just let the legs dangle for a moment. Check in with your head and neck. You nod that side to side, up and down, open, close, jaw. Soften those knees in. Just release the legs down into the floor. Let the weight of the body sink down. Just taking five big breaths here. Try two more breaths. Gently draw those knees back in. Roll either off to one side or rock and roll length of your spine. Coming up to a little crouch and curl, letting those knees bend, chin to chest. You just easily straighten out the legs a little bit more. Upper body staying heavy and dangling. Keep the knees soft. And slowly roll up the stand. At the top without moving anything else, just roll the shoulders back. Take one final big breath here as you stand tall. Nice inhale. And exhale. Awesome. Great work, everybody. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.